Even though there is a bunch of predefined reports in Google Analytics 4, they don't cover all the possible situations. That's why you might want to create custom reports. In this video, I will show you several methods how to do that. The first option that I will show you is related to the reports section. This sidebar right here is highly customizable, where you can add new sections and also new reports. Let's say that I want to build a report which will show landing pages, but only of those sessions that came from organic search. To do that, you will need to go to reports, then library. And here we can create a new report. So click this button and then create detail report, then select blank. And then here in the dimensions, we can select a landing page or landing page plus query string, whatever you want to choose, then apply. And in metrics, we can add a bunch of them, for example, sessions, then we can add total users, then let's say key events, then key event rate. And in this case, we will select session key event rate, then if you have implemented e commerce tracking, we could also show e commerce purchases, and then some revenue metric, for example, purchase revenue, then click apply. I don't need the charts here, at least this one, I will maybe keep the line chart. So bar chart can be hidden. And that's pretty much it, except that we need to do one more thing. Because right now this report shows all landing pages, but we want to show only landing pages of those sessions that started from Google organic search or organic search in general. So let's click add filter. And then here we will select session source medium or maybe session default channel group, and then exactly matches organic search. This will include sessions from all search engines, not just Google. So click this checkbox and then apply. Once you add a filter, that filter will become visible right here. Now let's click save and name this report, let's say landing pages, organic search, and click save. The report has been created, but now we need to add it to the sidebar. Let's go back. And then here in the library, select the collection where you want to include this report. I have several collections, one is lifecycle, one is organic and then user. In this case, lifecycle makes the most sense. So I will click three dots next to lifecycle, then edit. And then here I will look for landing pages, organic search. I actually have two of them because one of them was created as an experiment a while ago. So let me add this and where can I add it maybe in the engagement. So here it is and click save changes to the current collection. Now let's go back. And if I go to engagement, I will see that report right here, I can click it. And here is the data that I have. As you can see, this report has a lot of not set landing pages. If you want to learn more how to reduce the number of not set, then I will post a link to it below the video, I mean to a tutorial that will teach you more about the not set. And that's pretty much it. How can you create custom reports, you can create them from scratch, as I've shown in this video, or in fact, if you find some report, but you want to create a copy with some modifications, you could open the report, then click customize report do some customizations here. And then when you click save, you can save it as a new report. And then later, you would need to add that report to the sidebar. One more thing to keep in mind about these custom reports added to the sidebar is that they are visible by all users who have access to this property. So if there are some particular reports or particular questions that your users want to answer, then creating a report in the reports section is a great way, because then everyone will have access to the same set of reports. The next option that I wanted to show is related to explorations. So let's go to explore. And here we have a bunch of different exploration methods. If you want to learn more about explorations in general and different methods, then I will post some tutorials in the description below the video, because I don't want to make this video too long explaining every possible option. So I will just stick with the free form exploration. Now let's go in the explore section and click blank. Let's try to build the same report. So in the dimensions, I will click plus and select landing page. Then I will also need the session default channel group because we will use that as a filter. And then in metrics, we can select again, sessions, then 
total users. So select that, then we can select key event, then session key event rate, for example, then e commerce purchases, and purchase revenue metric, and then click confirm. So now let's double click on landing page to add it to the report, and then double click on all metrics. And the report should be displayed like this. Right now, this report is displaying data of all traffic sources. So we need to scroll down and in the filters, click here, then session default channel group, and exactly matches organic search and click apply. Feature wise, explorations are more powerful than standard reports. So you can add more customization. For example, you can choose the cell type, it can be heat map, you can add some segments and those segments might use different scopes. For example, you can create a sequence of events and then include data only of those users who have completed that sequence. And right now this exploration is already saved in your property. So there is no additional save button or anything, but it would be a good practice to give this exploration a name. So we can name this landing pages organic search. And right now this exploration is visible only to you. If anyone else goes to the explore section, they will not see this report, but you can share it and make it visible to others as well. Click this icon right here. And then if you click share, this report will become visible in the list of explorations to other users as well. But keep in mind that this exploration will be available only in read only mode. Right now when I'm recording this video collaboration is not possible. Therefore, if you click share, and another person sees that exploration, they will need to make their own copy if they want to tweak something, which is honestly annoying. And I would like to see some collaboration options here. Maybe that will happen in the future, but right now it is what it is. Also, one more thing to mention is that there is one type of explorations that you can create in the explore section, but you can add them to the sidebar of reports. So let me show you how to do that. You can go to explore and this tip applies to funnel exploration. So click funnel exploration. And if you want to learn more how to use this type of exploration, I will post some resources below the video. I will not be modifying anything right now. So this default funnel will remain as it is. And if you want to add it to the sidebar of the report section, click this icon, which is called save as a report in the library, because library in this case implies the library of the reports section. So click here, then give it a name, I will call this let's say funnel demo and click save. This report is now available in the library. It is not added to the sidebar yet. So what we should do is that we should go to reports, then we go to library, and that funnel report will become available right here. Now, if you want, you can click three dots next to a particular collection that you want to edit, click edit. And then here, we can find that report and add it, let's say to the engagement section. So I will add it like this, save changes to the current collection, and then go back. So now if I go to engagement, I will see that funnel demo somewhere here. I don't see it. Maybe I need to refresh it. Maybe it's a bug. Let's try again. It's not available. Maybe there was a bug in the saving process. So let me try to do that again. I will find the funnel. Then here. Well, it looks like there is a bug. Hopefully soon enough, Google will fix this. But right now, this just does not work. Well, classic Google. But anyway, if you're watching this in the future, still try to complete these steps, maybe then this report will become visible on the sidebar because right now it's kind of hidden, and I cannot add it again. So yeah, definitely a bug. And that's how you can create custom reports in Google Analytics 4. Hopefully, when you're watching this video, that bug with the funnel report is already fixed. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tech Manager or GA4, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.